Hello everyone, Wade from High Tech Legion here. And with over 1500 videos uploaded, if you haven't seen it here, you may not have seen it anywhere. I apologize for my voice, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather in this today, so I'm going to do my best to get through this and inform you guys about this product. The Sapphire Radeon R9 285 ITX Compact OC Edition Graphics Card. So what this is, this is a graphics card from Sapphire. It's got a single fan cooler on it. Um, it's a full height card, but it is designed specifically to go into small form factor mini ITX cases. So let's take a closer look at the card, and I'll tell you about the features, and we'll also show you the benchmarks for it. After the benchmarks, we'll show you the accessories that it comes with. So stay tuned. So here we have a closer look at the Sapphire Radeon R9 285 ITX Compact OC card. This has a GPU clock of 928 MHz and a memory clock uh, stock speeds of 1375 MHz. Um, you have a pretty decent cooler on here, full height card, and a single fan to keep everything nice and cool. You can sort of see through the fan that you have a uh, radiator in there to keep everything nice and cool. There's also four heat pipes that go through it to sit right onto the GPU and make sure that heat is being transferred properly into the heat sink and then dissipated by the fan. You do have a plastic shroud, black and silver plastic shroud over the fan and the radiator to um, help protect the fins and everything and keep the air flowing through the radiator properly. On the bottom of it here, you can see the other side of the heat sink uh, with the other parts of the heat pipes running through. And so you really have the heat pipes distributed all the way through the whole card. You got a couple over here, some in the middle, right over the GPU, and then a, the other ends of it are they're on either end of the radiator. On the bottom here, you can see the other ends of the heat pipes. So you got the four ends here that are right on the GPU. And then you have the other two ends where it's sending the heat to dissipate through the back of the card and two other through the front of the card. So that it has on, on opposite ends of the fins to dissipate the heat as best as possible. You also have your PCI Express 3 slot here. Um, so this is for PCI Express 3.0 compliant. On the back of it, you can see the ventilation where the air can come out. And you also have your connectivity options, your DVI-I, HDMI port, which is 3D compliant, and also two mini display ports. So you can support up to four monitors through iFinity you can connect those monitors together and on the back you can see a lot of the circuitry for the board and as well as the four screws that hold the heat sink onto the GPU on the other side more ventilation for the fins and the 8 pin power connector so this does take one 8 pin power connector it has 2 gigs of memory on it GDDR5 memory and that memory is on a 256 bit bus. So now let's take a look at how this card performs and check out the benchmarks.
So now let's take a look at the accessories that come with the ITX Compact R9285. Um, it's actually a pretty decent kit. First thing, of course, is we get a driver CD, which also has a badge for your case in it. We have information on the manufacturer and how to contact them. You also have a quick installation guide from them. The registration information with the code for um, the Sapphire Gold Club. A uh, thin plastic mouse pad here, a little vinyl piece so that you can uh, maybe put it in your kit to travel with if you put it on your um, in your backpack or something so that you can have a little mouse pad with you wherever you go. You also have a mini display connector to full display port connector. A two six pin connector to an eight pin connector. DVI-I, the VGA, so if you're still using VGA, you can hook in to the card through that. And you also get a 1.8 meter HDMI cable. So, pretty nice accessory kit. Uh, Sapphire is one of the few manufacturers I find that usually includes lots of extras. And so that's nice to see, especially with this compact card here. It does come in around 259 you might find it a little higher some places um, so the price is definitely good so as you guys can see from the benchmarks this card comes uh, with plenty of power to play any of modern games at decent frame rates and all of our testing was done on ultra settings very high and ultra settings for all the games whatever the max was so the frame rates are all above 30 frames per second and some of them even are around 60 and then we even had a couple outliers like Batman Arkham City that was more like 80 plus so very small card fit into a, a small form factor system and allow you to play games at high settings it also of course like I have mentioned is DirectX 12 compliant so when that new API starts getting used it will support it, it supports Mantle as well so the games that are supporting Mant or have Mantle support will be able to be played on this with that. So if you find that you're getting better frame rates with it, definitely turn it on and use it. I hope this video was informative for you and that you enjoyed watching it. Definitely check out the full review at www.hightechlegion.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter pages. Take care.